All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai for the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the gospel of His truth. I just want to do a little video real quick. I'm going to show a video clip that um the uh, a man took in um uh, Walmart uh, a week ago that clearly shows that what we've been prophesying, you know, way before the start of this, you know pandemic, you know, is clearly, you know, designed to bring in these food shortages, these famines, you know, and this all ties back to the scriptures. This is from the Apocrypha. For those who don't know, the Apocrypha is part of the Bible. It was removed by the Catholic Church um, by a gang called the uh, Biblical Destruction Group. You can do the research for yourself uh, if you're interested. Uh, however, this is Second Ezra, chapter six and verse twenty-two, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown; the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And this was a um, a prophecy. If you read the whole chapter, they were speaking about the last days. Okay, which clearly aligns with Second Ezra, the fifteenth and the sixteenth chapter. Um, what did Christ prophesy? In uh, Matthew 24 chapter, one of the signs he said to look for for his return would be sedition among men, right? Pestilences. And uh, one of the things he said was famines, which what is famine? A shortage of food. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you is clearly a famine of food, man. So this prophecy is clearly coming to pass, man. Okay, what the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai has shown to the prophets of old is clearly coming to pass right now, man. It's just, it's undeniable at this point that these things that we've been telling people about are clearly happening, man. Okay, now, you know, guys can say, well, you know, this happened, you know, during uh, the Great Depression or this, you know, happened a thousand years ago because this was written roughly 2,400 years ago because um, it came before the New Testament. Um, but again, if you read the whole chapter and you know the other chapters that speak about the end time prophecies and the Apocrypha, clearly this is referring to the time we're in now, man. And things are only going to get worse. There's really no way around it. All right? So, you know, I myself, I went to Walmart in pretty much... Everything was pretty much gone, man. The, you know, they, they, I mean, the canned goods, right? Canned goods are, are pretty much, you know, depleted. Except for, you know, expensive shit, right? Ain't nobody want to buy that no damn, you know, 4 or $5 can, right? You know, you see, you know, especially Jake have to live off those damn, you know, um, damn, well, what are those things called? The Raymond noodles? You gotta get to live off those, man. All right, that's where you see people be stacking up <laughs> at Walmart. All right, so ain't nobody got no money for no damn, you know, $5 can. So, you know, those are expected to be there. But that cheap shit, man, that's almost gone. All right. So I myself speak from experience. This is clearly the video I'm going to show you clearly is going on right now, man. Okay, for you brothers out there, and just for, you know, anybody who stumbled across this video, you know, well, for one, what is that, Isaiah uh, 55 and 6, I believe it is, the scriptures say, call upon the Lord while he is near, all right, because, you know, the Lord is near right now, man, okay, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, they're near right now, man. Okay, they're, they're near. The scriptures tell you in the Apocrypha, the Lord shall visit the world that he made. And, you know, the Lord is clearly visiting the world by way of these plagues. Okay, but anyway, on the earthly level, you know, the scriptures say a wise man foresees the evil and prepares himself. So we should take this time and prepare for these coming famines and shortages, man. Okay, why, you know, Yahweh allows us to have this, you know, window of opportunity, so to speak. Before things start to get very bad, man. Okay, because, you know, we're coming into the winter months here. You know, we got election coming up. And 
soon force vaccinations. And, you know, the whole Black Lives Matter movement, you know, there's just too much going on, man. All right, it's a perfect storm for a whole SHTF situation, okay, which is also prophesied in the scriptures, Second Ezra's 15th chapter, okay? Um, but anyway, I'll read this again, and then I'll show you the video clip, okay? Just get prepared now, okay, spiritually and physically get prepared, man, because there is not much time left, all right, before... All the food runs out. The only way you can get it is by going to the government, which you know there's going to be strings attached to it. Eventually, it'd be you know, hey, you know, take the mark of the beast and we'll help you. Which the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. Okay. Um, anyway, Second Ezra chapter six and verse twenty-two, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Let me show you this video real quick. Alright. Alright, so real quick, I come to this Walmart every week to do grocery shopping. And I just want you guys to see something here real quick. Everybody talks about a few food shortage. And I agree with you. Um it I mean damn man, look at that. It wasn't even that bad when I went, man. Alright, so it just shows you, man. Alright, that you know, this is very serious, man. All right? You know, people, you know, just be playing around, man. All right? You know, not taking it seriously. Well, obviously, some people are because, you know, it's all gone. But, you know, the vast majority, especially our people, you know, so-called, you know, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you know, they're not, you know, hey, they took that stimulus check and just, you know, spent it on stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just what our people do. Scriptures say my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to say shalom and I'll allow you to review the rest of the video. Seems to be happening more and more. Now, in my opinion, you're going to see it at a Walmart before you see it anywhere else. Uh, I'm opening some of the doors because it is hard to see, but there is nothing in these coolers. I mean, you have a few cartons of milk over here all the cheese is pretty much gone so in my opinion this is a very 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 bad sign because again I think it's going to hit your Aldi's and your Walmart's first that's all the shopping that's where every, all the low income shopping happens so then now, when people see this, they're going to filter into the bigger supermarkets, uh, the, the higher-end supermarkets, and you're going to end up with nothing. So, again, I come to this Walmart every week, and it has never, ever been even as close to this empty. Even during the height of the pandemic, it just, it wasn't, it was not like this. So I think the food shortage has taken a turn for the worse. I hope I'm wrong, but my suggestion to everybody out there is get out, do some shopping, make sure that you are prepared. Everybody talks about don't panic buy, don't panic. I'm not telling you to panic buy, I'm telling you to prepare. Too many people in this world today react instead of preparing. If you prepare, you need no reaction. While everybody else is running around crazy, you're going to be sitting at home, safe, not having to worry about where you're going to get food. Let all the idiots who don't pay attention to what's going on and would rather find out who the bachelor is going to marry do all the running around and the fighting for the food. So, again, just a quick video. Uh, and it seems to be hitting all of the perishables. Uh, the cans and stuff and the cereal all seem to be pretty good still. But all the perishable stuff is definitely, definitely going away. All right, yes, yeah, lucky. Um, but yeah, you heard the man, you know, get what you can right now. Because very soon, 
that, that's gonna that's gonna be everywhere, man. All right, it's just a matter of time. So while you have the window window of opportunity right now, take advantage. All right, take advantage while the advantage is good. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna say shalom.